Get back to the storage yard. Oh, the trees out. Look how the leaves are gone already. Wow. Okay, so basically, this could be the farewell tour. Just waiting for the money to complete on the deal. The money completes, then it's a done deal. So that's it. Get my final things out of here. Farewell tour. It's actually a pretty decent garage. See now if I bought this property now I could easily insulate this, you know, and do what I have to do, soundproof it and but didn't have the proper power here was the biggest problem. So we're just gonna get what we can. That's gonna call space with four tires and rims. Have to get rid of brass tag right there. Cord, but for moving around it's lousy but for high amperage stuff it's perfect I just wonder if on that side there's a lock on that side at all can't tell I don't see nothing Okay, farewell, farewell tour. Okay. How could they change the bolt just like that? So I'll put this one here. Put the wire here actually. I'm warming my truck up so that I can dump that load shortly. I'm gonna do a scrap run, get that load out of there. Battery's getting weak on this thing. Here, so I want to clean some of this here. I throw this in quickly. The trucks are warming up. Oh, 
hopper. Cast. Just a million different screwdrivers changed again. Okay. Probably gonna change again, seems like. If you don't use power tools, it seems like it takes forever for everything. It's the source of getting some number one insulated. There's also stuff in here, but not really worth it worth it for me. But you know, if you have time, you do anything if you have time. cast on there That yeah, battery seemed a little weak on that truck too. It's been sitting for for quite a while. It's quite a bit of wire actually in here. Say years ago we used to try to we used to sell these. They're worth money. I don't know, maybe like 15 cents a pound. These boxes with wire inside them. No, you cannot sell it now. China was buying all kinds of scrap back then. Everything didn't matter how dirty it was. If there was a low percentage of something, they would do it. See this, this little copper here. You might think it's not worth it, but hey, 
I'm getting copper, I'm getting materials. I'm going to cast aluminum. So, cast there. Starts adding up pretty fast. Okay, I'm going to finish. Uh, the little tub here, I'll show you. I'm gonna throw in a bin, and I think I have some loose stuff over there. The rest of this, some of this, and then some loose stuff there, and then we're gonna go. Hopefully, the prices are good. Times it now. It's 134, so we've got time. Close to five today. Okay. I got one that's uh, just probably a, a stove or dryer. I'm not sure, but uh, you can see it starts adding up big time. Copper wire there. Cast. If you had, you know, hundreds of boxes, you'd have uh, quite a bit of stuff to do. You know, you'd have good, lots of added value. It's hard to believe, but it's quite a bit there. If you have lots of it, we used to get do demo jobs and be hundreds of boxes. Me, I never really took them, and but my worker was taking lots of them before. I was just on the shred. And then, uh, we were selling for before, like 15 cents a pound or something. Let's just get this cover off here. We'll wait up for fun after just to see. It wasn't it was maybe like 20 boxes or something, not a lot. I actually threw a whole bunch away. Then I said sit I said to myself, you know, I'm throwing quite a bit of wire away and different things. Might as well double check what I'm doing. This is steel. Okay, so I'll wipe this off here. Hmm. Yeah, this one's not that easy to get off. Let's see if I can. Might be able to. Because I took four screws out. Sometimes the popper of it is in there. Last one. Or two. Oh. Yeah. That one's clean. I have to get my little magnet because big magnet's not working. The tiny small corners. Okay, well. So you got brass here, that came out, that's your dryer or stove or dryer plug, the female side, one that's in the wall there. So, getting some progress here, we'll clean the rest here in a few minutes, and we'll just kind of, for fun, we'll weigh it up here, just to see if we get any numbers of just the copper, then the wire. And cast okay. Good, good amount of scrap here, a lot of small stuff, so it's a pretty good load. So five gallon pail of uh Let's go boxes. That's what we stripped.
let's see what our bounty is. Let's throw out the cast, because the cast is heavy. Point 0.9 of a pound, so not exactly a pound. Point 0.9. Okay, so it goes one pound. It's one pound exactly now. Might have been on the board line. Okay, let's just leave this on for a second. Just to see where the aluminum's at. This might be a hard one to, to weigh. One pound. Um, one tenth of a pound. So one tenth of a pound there. So we're gonna um, dump that quickly. You can see how the cast pile is getting bigger. So it's worth seventy-two cents. Okay, we're gonna go with big, big clunk of wire here. One point two pounds, so that's going to be um, it's around at least two fifty a pound. So we're going to say getting close to three dollars, maybe two eighty, two dollars and eighty, and then seventy, and then we have over this. Here's your uh, our number one. One second here. I'm gonna zero it out. If I zero it out, it may not register this weight. We'll try. Turn zero. It's not registering. I figured. I'm gonna start over again. That's the problem when you the certain scales is not not a perfect scale. Here's a couple pieces here. It's a point two probably there. Yeah, one point two. So I would say quarter of a pound. It's one point five now. So probably point three is point three is um close to just the over quarter pound actually. Goes to one tenth. So so I would say over just over a quarter. So I, I would say it's worth about a dollar, dollar something, maybe dollar twenty-five or something. Dollar twenty-five, and then we got this. So I, I generated about at least five dollars, over five dollars or something like, like that. Value say five dollars, pretty close to. So it just shows you that's just a little pail of material, right? If you have, if you do a demolition site and. You know, and you throw stuff in a dumpster or something, and it's all there in boxes already. You know, you're taking it out, it's easy. You just do what I did. Um, or, you know, if you do demolition yourself, after you cut the wire out, smack the boxes off, and you can clean it. Because I, I think it's definitely worth it. Let me put this number one in here. Okay, I just want to share that with you guys so you can understand. There's a lot of avenues of making extra money, not just, you know, going for the gravy all the time. You know, the small stuff. If you had uh, hundreds of boxes, you could actually make your wages. You're not going to get rich, but you'll make your wages for the day, right? You know, scrapping is not, to, not all about making big dollars, but potential is there. You could make big dollars, but if you're a small-time scrapper... All the small stuff adds up in the long run. This one, I might, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I might even sell it the way it is, but a little bit kind of small to strip. But I'll show you here. Just look, 
little number one or strippable right here. If I can strip it since it comes here. Okay, that's all I'm about to show you. Share you on that one. If you get a, uh, a capacitor out of power supply, or it could be out of, out of a radio or anything, right? Uh, the microwave capacitor ones I wouldn't do because they get some liquid in there and it stinks really bad. This is a dry one. You're okay, but if if liquid starts coming out of it, I would just leave it, just because the liquid stinks really bad. And who knows what it is? Depends how old the unit is, right? Because they had PCBs in these things before, the older ones. This is obviously a newer one. It was came out of new electronics, but any stuff prior to about 1980 could have PCBs in it, so you want to be careful. Okay, so this, so this one, this one I can't do nothing with because it's uh, just a bunch of goop. See, it's, it's all frozen in there a lot of times so well, I can try cutting it but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this one out to have stuff like this it just doesn't come out it's actually sticking but I had somewhere it's in a cylinder it comes out real clean this one's not coming clean I can tell. Yeah, this one's a pain, not worth it. But you don't know until you try. You can see. A bit of a smell, but not bad. Anyways, these type when you run into these ones, forget it. This is too much tar on it. But um, you can look. Uh, usually, the really big ones are. They're not too bad. This one was actual poured into this unit. The other ones poured into like a cardboard, and then into a like a cardboard thing into a sleeve, then pressed in there. This is poured directly here, that's why it's all gummed up. Okay, well, we tried. We have an old speaker here. It's been in the rain and stuff, so I just before I throw it in the shred, I want to know exactly what's in here. So I'm opening it up. It probably were, could have been valuable speakers, who knows. Oh, we're ahead already, got a couple brass items. We just want to see what's. Oh, someone actually tried opening it. What the hell am I doing here? No, it seems like it's so. so torqued for some reason. Brand here before it's left your home, so definitely not high end. Hmm. Well, could have been some pretty good speakers at one time. The left your home's not a great name, that's a problem. All high end audio guys will turn their heads and say, Electro Home now. I want Tannoy, JBL, and a lot of English speakers they want. million names but okay, I found a board buyer guy again aluminum so we're actually getting some value lucky I didn't uh, you know happy to get a piece of aluminum oh we're getting we got copper here well this is a weird looking setup here actually not your cheap set setup Where, where the screw spins. That. So we'll see. He said he was too busy, but you know, he must conduct the deal. No, nah, steel. Look how they fooled you. Okay, whatever. See, it's just a cheap, 
cheap speaker for sure, but imagine finding like gold coins or something in, stuffed in here. My dad, when he well, he's a hoarder. When he passed away, but anyways, he was a hoarder. He threw some bonds in the speaker. He didn't know what speaker, and he had hundreds of speakers, and they're all all beat up. So when I went through his house trying to clean it out. I was tearing speakers apart trying to find these these things, but I never found them. I wonder if the leg holds these legs may hold something. Whatever, there's nothing more in there. It should shred the rest on that. We did get accomplish a little bit of wire spacers. Oh brass spacers. Okay, that's okay. Any more spacers in there? Nope. Okay. The speaker quickly. Not a lot of copper here, but this is copper here. A the copper there, but. The copper. Oh, I can get this off. No, I can't actually. Some sort of rivet. We keep that for putting stuff on there, like bits and stuff. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work that great. Let's chuck it. We got our steel, we got a wire, we got some brass bits, this little strip of copper, it's brass, and aluminum. So not bad. To me it was, a, it was worth taking apart. I think I might have two of these possibly. Okay. Okay, just trying to go through all this these buckets of stuff that we swept up before. It might not be uh, anything of Mostly garbage in here, but there's the odd, odd thing we'll control. Hmm. This could be for car stereo. Thank you. Hmm. Let's see if there's something that's any good. This is gonna have a power supply. So just whether it's pure garbage. Whatever I can throw in the shred directly. I will. There's a little, little gadgets here. We got little little things and platers and stuff. We got little mortars and stuff to put in the shred. This one's gotta be recycled. Eliminate two garbage cans of this crap. Stainless steel, I figured. Was it sticking in my back pocket, right? If it sticks, then you know. Radio. Dell. This will be stripped. Hmm. Good blades. Just got a battery in here. There it is. Got it. Perfect. Just gonna recycle the battery. Put it in there. Wire. These are cast aluminum carabiners. Some of these have a little circuit boards in them. 
Logitech. This one could be here, could have been sold. The modem here. Okay. Just want to get any any batteries, any uh, garbage. No pure garbage in there, I look bad. Wait for here. Okay, it's a hole in this one here. Okay, I'm just gonna sort the rest out the little garbage way. Okay, stay tuned. Hmm. The flash there's a light on the end here, but huh, I don't see no issue for a light here. It doesn't make sense. Unless it uses it as a fuse. The light bulb might be a fuse. To get this battery out. Hmm. Problem with these things, the battery, uh, it's gonna be really tiny, the mortar. Laid up in the front here, but it makes sense. This is just a crappy little mortar. That's why I throw a lot of stuff in the shred because you know, I'm taking it apart, but really I'm not doing nothing with it. The value is not really no value there. Not for me. I mean, you got a little mortar, but right there, a little mortar. And you have a little gearbox, a couple pieces of wire. I personally want to strip it. Piece brass connection here. Okay, so I personally want to strip it to be honest. Unless you're, you know, you have to strip it for some reason. Or you take the battery out regardless, okay. The battery has to come out, you can't take the scrap yard. Okay. That's my load. A lot, of, a lot of junk in there. There's a lot of water in there too. So I'd say uh, we got a full load. A lot of nooks and crannies are full. I'm gonna have to do some garbage after this. Not today, but next day or so. And then, um, not much left there for metal. Okay. I'm thinking 3,500 pounds. Seems to be a pretty good load. Could even be a lot more. But uh, 35 is my target. Could even be like uh, 38 maybe, if I'm lucky. But I did fill I did fill a lot of things up.
Uh, okay guys, stay tuned. We'll let you know what the weight, what it paid and all that. Stay tuned. Yeah, it looks like they're hauling like crazy right now. They got guys everywhere. Okay, so I had some uh, pretty good weight there actually. Pretty surprised, it was pretty heavy. I didn't ride heavy, it's weird. I had loads that felt way heavier than this. But uh, it must have been dispersed really good. It wasn't on the back side, right? It was heavy evenly everywhere. Pull over for a second here and I'll let you know. Light iron 185 a ton. I had a total of 309, no, 3,980 pounds. 368.06 for that. Uh, I had the non Ferris for the weekend. That's on top of there. I cashed out. Total weight was 4,123. 4, That's a non Ferris from Saturday. Total cash out 475.50 total cash out so not too bad gotta, be, gotta love that 185 is not bad for scrap you can make money but you know it takes a lot of uh, material I mean still a ton is a ton right the scrap is closed um, just give you a little description of the scrap yard like a madhouse super busy trucks in all directions uh, those levers, two levers going back and forth, filling uh, big rock trucks, those big mining rock trucks, two of them at a time. One and one comes back, the next one, they're filling steady. They're dropping loads nonstop, different people. There's one guy uh, um, uh, taking a free out of the fridges. I mean, it's just like continuous madhouse there, super busy. Another guy dealing with cars, lifting cars up, taking it to the uh, process center. They're gonna drain the oils, whatever they do, to make it environmentally safe. But super busy. Just mountains of shred, like mountains and mountains. Even aluminum, I've seen um, 5,000 aluminum wheels, maybe like just a mountain of a mountain of aluminum wheels and aluminum itself. And I'll tell you, I've never seen a scrapyard so busy in all types of materials, not just shred, like all materials. This is the number one scrapyard in the area. Are probably on the west coast I don't think for uh, us anyways I'm not sure what's well it's up in the interior or, but I'm um, telling you this is pretty amazing I wish I could film it but like I say uh, no I have a no film clause there I can't film so but I just give you a description of my eyes and what I've seen it's just amazing okay guys very good scrap run super happy made a little extra cash you guys have a great day don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day.